They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. That's right. Today we're talking about percent composition. Hit the theme. Ain't nothing but a chem thing, baby. Too flipped out, teachers going crazy. Lancaster is a district that pays me. Unbreakable, so please don't try to break this. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Hello and welcome to another episode of Shu Fu Chem and Asha. I'm your host, Shu, and with me as always is Fu. What up, nerds? So Fu, in the last episode, we talked about how to find the formula mass from the chemical formula. Yeah, and now we're gonna use that total formula mass to find the percent composition of each element in that compound. So let's get started. Percent composition, a lesson from the formulas and equations unit. So what is percent composition? How much of each part makes up the whole? In a chemical formula, this is the percent by mass of each element in the compound. The formula is found on table T, where percent by mass equals the mass of the part over the mass of the whole times 100. How do I find the percent composition? Find the chemical formula from the name, find the formula mass to determine the mass of the whole, and that can be in grams or U, use the total mass of each element as the mass of part, and calculate the percent for each element using the percent composition formula. Let's do an example. Fu, are you ready? I am. Okay, we're gonna calculate the percent composition of each element in sodium carbonate. Our first step then is to find the chemical formula for sodium carbonate. Okay, so sodium is Na, has a plus one charge. Carbonate's on table E, polyatomic ion, has a minus two charge. So the formula ends up being Na2. CO3. Very good. Now we want to find the formula mass of that chemical formula. All right, so I'm going to list those elements. N, A, C, O. I've got two Na's, I've got one C, and I've got three O's. I will multiply those numbers by the atomic mass. Atomic mass of sodium is 22.99 grams, and carbon is 12.01 grams and oxygen 16, zero, zero grams. Looking good so far. Right, so let's do all the multiplications here. I get 45.98, I get 12.01 and 48.00. Those are also all grams. All right, let's just add them up and we'll have our formula mass. 105.99. All right, now what we want to do is find the percent composition for each element in this formula. So let's remind ourselves, what is the percent composition formula? So the formula is, I'm gonna abbreviate this sure. too, because that's a lot of words. So for, uh, the formula is percentage equals P for part over W for whole. You can't forget that times 100. Good, and we just have to write that once at the beginning. We'll have multiple substitutions, however, for each element. So let's list those three elements as columns. All right, good. So let's do Na first, and then we'll do carbon and oxygen. All right. So starting with sodium, what would the mass of part be for sodium in that compound? Well, since the compound is Na2CO3, there's two Na's, so it's the mass of both of them. So the 45.98, that's right here. Very good, and we want to be careful we don't just take the 22.99. As he said, we want the total Na atoms. That is the part out of this formula. What's our whole now? Right. Well, the whole is always the whole formula, right? So the whole formula mass, so 105.99. Good, that's always going to be our whole then. Times 100, and my percent, and I'm a little unsure on sig figs here, but we didn't really measure anything, and we Went to two decimal places on all of them. Yeah, it was kind of yeah, it was kind of arbitrary that we already selected the two decimal places. So let's just stay consistent with that. We can give our percent to two decimal places. Okay, so my percent to two decimal places is forty three point three eight. What's our unit? Uh, percent. Percent. Very good. Grams cancel out. We multiply by one hundred. We make it a percent. Let's do the same thing now for carbon and oxygen. So carbon is twelve point oh one only one of them, and the whole is the same thing again of 105.99 grams. And plug in the calculator, I get 11.33% to two decimal places. 
And don't forget to write your times 100 next to carbon. You know that's what you did. Oh. And finally for oxygen. All right, oxygen total is 48 because of the three. Good. So 48.00 grams divided by the 105.99 grams times 100. And I end up with 45.29. Good. If we want to be sure we did everything correctly, we can make sure everything adds up to 100%. You try number one. What is the percent of chlorine and calcium chloride? So again, you're going to find the chemical formula, then find the formula mass, and you only have to find the percent of chlorine, not calcium, in this compound. So how do I find the percent of water in a hydrate? Instead of finding the percent composition of each element, we can use the total mass of water and the formula mass of the hydrate to find the percent of water. Find the formula mass of the hydrate as you normally would. Remember to keep water together and use 18.02 grams. Substitute where mass of part is the total mass of the water and the mass of the whole is the formula mass of the hydrate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna do an example here for you. Shu, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, we're gonna find the percent of water in copper two sulfate pentahydrate. Now we've already done this hydrate in a previous lesson, so we're gonna take a look at that slide, all right? So can you get there? All right, here all we right. are. All right, so we can see all of our work is already done for us. The most important part of finding this percent composition for a hydrate is the mass of the water and the mass of the hydrate as a whole. So can you circle those two things for me? All right, so total mass of water in this formula would be the 90.10 U. Good. And then the hydrate, that's the whole thing, the whole formula. So the total would be the mass of the hydrate. All right, perfect. So now that we have our two numbers, we're gonna go back to our original problem here. All right, so what is our formula for any percent? All right, so percent's always part over whole. This is specific for the percent of water, right? Yep. So I want the mass of the H2O over the mass of the hydrate. Looking good. And that, of course, is times 100. All Perfect. Right. So subbing in, we know that we've got the 90.10 for my total mass of water. I'm gonna just use grams, because we've been using grams sure. instead of you, but either way. And then the mass of the hydrate was the 249.72 grams times 100. So I divide and I multiply, and it looks like I get two decimal places, 36.08%. That would be the percent of water in that overall formula called the hydrate. Perfect. You try number two. Find the percent of water in barium chloride dihydrate. Now you did this in your notes, so go back to page 19 for all the data you need. Now make sure to show the formula, proper substitution, and your answer with units. How do I find the percent of water in a hydrate from experimental data? Sometimes we don't know a hydrate's chemical formula and thus its formula mass or percent composition. We can heat a hydrate to remove the water, leaving just the ionic compound called the anhydrous salt. If you look at the picture below, we have our copper sulfate pentahydrate and we heat it up over a Bunsen burner and we're actually going to remove the water. We're going to see a little bit of color change and what's left at the end is called the anhydrous salt. It means without water. The mass of the water can be divided by the hydrate mass and multiplied by 100 to determine the percent of water in the hydrate. Continuing on with another example. Are you ready, Fu? I am. Okay. An unknown hydrate is found to have a mass of 5.82 grams. During a lab procedure, the hydrate was heated, causing the evaporation of all water present in the hydrate. The final mass of the anhydrous salt left was 4.63 grams. What is the percent of water in the hydrate? All right, let's begin with our formula. All right, so we're finding the percentage of water in the hydrate, so percent H2O. Uh, it's only the part, right, which will be the water in this case, so mass of water over the mass of the hydrate, the whole thing. Good, the hydrate is the whole thing. And times 100. Okay. okay, now this is a very wordy question. There's a lot going on. 
but we want to determine what is the mass of the water. Um, well, I can see the mass of the hydrate in the first sentence there. Okay, that's before we've done any heating. Okay, and then it gives me another number here, which says it's the final mass of the anhydrous salt left. I'm not seeing any mass for water here. No, and that final mass is actually after heating to remove the water. So if we have the hydrate with the water at the beginning, and we got the anhydrous salt, which means without water at the end, how do you think we could find the mass of the water? Got to subtract. Exactly. Good. Let's show that work. All right. So we've got the 5.82 grams minus the 4.63 grams, the anhydrous salt. Uh, and that gives me 1.19. Looks good. So that's the mass of my water. Good. We can substitute that into our formula. H2O equals 1.19 grams from there. Good. Now, we need our mass of hydrate in the denominator. Oh, well that's given to me right here in the first sentence, the hydrate, 5.82. Good, that's what we started with, the original mass of the hydrate. That's the whole. And is this just math at this point? It's just math at this point. So what do we get for our percent of water? So if I divide 1.19 divided by 5.82 times 100, I get, and I got measurements here. So am I doing sig figs? We're doing sig figs again. All right, Very so good. I see three sig figs and three sig figs. So my final answer should have three sig figs. Very good. All right, so 20.4 will round to percent. Nice job. You try number three. Determine the mass percent of water in the hydrate from the data below. Now there's a lot of data, but if you go through it carefully and find your mass of water and your mass of hydrate, you're gonna be able to find the percent of water in this hydrate. Well, that's gonna do it for today's episode on percent composition. Later, nerds. Promotional consideration by... Toddler Tamers, Leashless Ankle Weight System. No more dreaded glares from using toddler leashes. Put the weight in, weight right here. But we never off, always zone to the brick of dawn. S C I E N C E in the hall, they call S wing. You know we never wear a tie like my homies, boys, two men. It's so hard to say goodbye. Like, like this, that, and this, and uh. It's like that, and like this, and like that, and uh. It's like this. You're going in low power mode. Plug in, chill to the next episode.